This short movie provides an introduction to IntelliCast's exciting new computer-controlled variable blank holder for system, ICAS version 1.0. We'll see how the system, which is easy to install with virtually any die in any press, can significantly cut down tryout time, help reduce spring back, increase press life by minimizing impact loads, and enhance worker safety by cutting down on die work. The system consists of 12 hydraulic cylinders with 7 inches or about 18 centimeters of stroke, each capable of delivering a force of up to 15 tons, independently commanded in quarter inch or 6 millimeter increments. For example, let's say we have a draw with 5 inches of travel. Cylinder 1 could be commanded to deliver 5 tons from 0 to 2 and a quarter inches of stroke, then 10 tons from 2 and a quarter inches to 4 and 3 quarter inches of stroke, and finally 2 tons for the last quarter inch while cylinder 10 could be kept at 8 tons for the first 4.5 inches and then raised to 10 tons for the last half inch. The system also has a manifold station with high performance servo valves. The cylinders are connected to the manifold using 3 quarter inch hydraulic pressure hoses. The hydraulic fluid is pumped to the cylinders using a standard power unit and the digital control system uses dedicated real-time hardware developed by our partner, Opel RT Technologies. In this hit, we see a typical scenario during tryout where a part is formed with a split. The conventional approach to correcting this defect would be the time-consuming process of working the die, grinding, welding, or adjusting EQ blocks. Using the ICAST system, the tryout specialist adjusts the tonnages in the cylinders that affect the material flow in the area of the split by entering the tonnages in the easy to use GUI and is ready to make another hit in literally a couple of minutes. Any operator who has basic computer skills such as being able to surf the net and download and save files can be trained to run the system within an hour. As can be seen here, the defect is eliminated. The tonnage data are automatically saved in an Excel spreadsheet. ICAST has been tested on an actual prototype run, and in addition to enormously reducing tryout effort, the system was also used to adjust for die wear during the run. By the fall of 2007, the next version of the system will include features such as the recording of punch force and material draw-in data.